in a previous lesson, we looked at how to determine if a reaction was going to be thermodynamically favorable, spontaneous, uh, by calculating the entropy of both the reaction, the surroundings, and then finding the entropy change that happened in the universe overall. In order to find that delta S of the surroundings and add that to the reaction to figure out the delta S of the universe, it's a little bit clunky since usually we don't take into consideration the surroundings and the entire universe. Wouldn't it be nice if we could figure out the spontaneity the, uh, to determine if a reaction is thermodynamically favorable or not, just looking at the reaction itself? There is a way, and we're going to see that today with something called Gibbs free energy. So Gibbs free energy, delta G, is named for the scientist J. J. Willard Gibbs. It's a function associated with the system only. So that's that piece. We don't have to worry about the surroundings. We don't have to worry about the universe. You only have to look at the reaction itself. And what Gibbs free energy is going to measure is the maximum amount of energy available for free, hence Gibbs free energy, to do work. This is the energy that's made by the system and goes out there into the universe to do work on the surroundings, right? So how do you calculate Gibbs free energy? So we're going to take that equation that we looked at in a previous uh, lesson where the Entropy of the universe is the sum of the entropy of the surroundings and the system, or the reaction. And we saw that to get the entropy of the surroundings, you would take the delta H of reaction, the enthalpy of the reaction, divide that by T, the temperature at which the reaction was taking place, and flip the sign on it in order to get the enthalpy changes that were occurring in the surroundings instead of the system. If we took that reaction and multiplied everything in there by negative T, we would get this. Negative T times the entropy of the universe equals the delta H of reaction minus T times the delta S of the reaction. So if you look on that right hand side, everything there is just based on the reaction only. We've taken away that surroundings piece. We've taken away the universe piece on the right hand side. So Gibbs free energy is a calculation of that entropy of the universe times negative T. When you multiply those two variables together, it's called its own unique uh, variable there, the delta G of the system, the Gibbs free energy, the energy that's free to do work on the surroundings out into the universe. And so we can just substitute that negative T S universe for delta G of the system. So if we expand that equation just a little bit, the delta H of reaction is the products minus reactants. Uh, then you have T times the delta S of the products minus the reactants. You can look up G values, Gibbs free energy values. So in the back of most AP chemistry textbooks, there's a data table of sorts that gives you delta S of reactions, delta H of reactions. They also have delta G of reactions. So what does the G value tell you? Uh, if it's positive, negative, equal to zero, what information does that tell us? If you were to calculate delta G of a reaction by doing delta H minus T delta S, and you ended up getting a negative number, what does that mean? What that means is that the reaction is product favored and thermodynamically favorable to the right. In other words, it's spontaneous to the right. It's going to make products all on its own without any outside assistance from you. If you have a reaction and you go to calculate that delta G and you end up getting a positive value, 
what that means is that the reaction is reactants favored. It's thermodynamically favorable to the left. It's probably not going to proceed to the product side there without some outside assistance from you. You'd have to force it to go to the right. It wants to go to the left all by itself. And then if your delta G is equal to zero, that means that you're already at equilibrium. It's not moving to the left, it's not moving to the right, it's, it's already, that equilibrium has already been established.